Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. Today I'm down at the well and we have a bit of an interesting project going on. Um, long story short, mom has her garden here on the hill and she's using quite a bit of water, a couple hundred gallons a day. And we were hauling this water up the hill, 300 gallons at a time in a tank in the back of the pickup truck. Well, that got really tiring really quick when we were going through the quantity of water we're talking about. So we ran a pipe all the way up there, 1400 feet. Actually, it used 1300 feet of one inch PVC pipe. I don't know if you can see right through there, you may be able to see a little faint white line, that's the pipe. Comes all the way up here and continues going. And this should allow us to get water to the top of the hill without having to worry so much about trucking it and fuel and wear and tear and things like that. It's about a hundred and change feet of elevation. Uh, I have a few pressure gauges here and you can see I've got right about 62 PSI. Almost, actually almost 70 PSI, my bad, I misread the gauge. So getting started, I still have a two inch cam lock here with a inch and a half ball valve and this is coming straight out of the well like it was before. I'm gonna open that to allow uh, any pressure to escape while I'm getting started. Now this generator right here was running our well pump. It had a solar edge auto transformer, but unfortunately because of the environment I had that transformer in, it allowed water into it and that transformer had failed. No big deal, I have the diesel generator down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that plugged in and I'll show you the process behind all of this. Go ahead and run the glow plugs for a quick second. Crank it. Now I'm gonna give this just a second to come up to speed and warm up. Okay, we're back, we're warmed up now. I'm gonna go ahead and flip on this 30 amp breaker which will start the well pump itself. So here we go. So if we come back over here, I have water coming out of this pipe right here from the well, and that's coming out of the ground 540 feet down. Yeah, it's quite a ways down there. Uh, the water line in the well is about 200 feet down. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I have this green extension cord here and I'm gonna plug in this one inch. Uh, this is a sprinkler pump. This is purchased from Tractor Supply. Uh, this adds about 20 PSI of pressure. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that plugged in. Now keep in mind, there still is pressure in the line. So it's a full pipe. So I have this plugged in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open the valve. And now I can go ahead and close this valve. And we should be sending water up the hill. As you can see, we're at about 130 PSI down there and about 108 PSI up here and that's sending water all the way up the hill up through this pipe. So here comes Dexter. He's taking the 1500 gallon water tank from down here in the valley and he's got the tank. So now we got over here, we have the well now is plumbed and without a water tank down here no more. So right now we're pushing water all the way up the hill, still off the grid. So right now we're running off the big generator. Right now we got about 1400 feet of pipe running all the way up that hill up to the top where those trees are and another quite a ways past that. That's where we're at now. So here we are in the side by side. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this pipe. See my puppy up there, blends in with the grass. So I just scraped a trail right here with the tractor. That way I could easily have a good working surface to run the pipe. We run all the way across the meadow and I put a few crossings with some two by fours staked down next to the pipe. Another crossing right here. Some two by fours again next to the pipe and nailed down. And we continue until we can't anymore because it goes straight up the face of this hill. And I mean, it's pretty steep.
Here we go, getting ready to see our first water coming. Uh, I wasn't recording it, damn it. Well, this is our first water coming down the hill. We now have a pipe running from the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill, or from the bottom of the hill to the top of the hill. About 1,200 square, about 1,200. No, 1,400. 1,400 linear feet of pipe. Now we have a garden hose down here at the bottom of the hill so we can water this tree right here. We put all that pipe in for this one special tree that the cows haven't eaten. Good job, Dexter. So here is the little valve body I made. It pretty much is a T that adds in the one inch pipe and it connects onto the existing plumbing with a cam lock fitting and this can still go through the pump room like it did before. I have it open right now to flush out because the well has some dirty water at first but you can see I just am bringing in the one inch pipe I have a few valves and stuff I can use when I want to fill tanks I have two options what I've been doing is connecting this hose onto here and that goes to this white tank and this white tank is the not so clean water uh, this stuff in here is pretty good but normally we would put the flush water that's just going out on the ground right now You'll see in a minute it comes out pretty dirty, um, but we'll put that dirty water in here and use that to water the hill. When we aren't getting dirty water, I can close this valve and open this one, but actually I need to open that one first before I close this so I don't uh, build pressure on this line. It can come in and go through here through the pool filter and out and fill these two tanks through the top of the tank but these tanks are already full to the top, completely full. This one has a little bit of room, but it's pretty much full. So I'm just pumping right now for the demonstration of the video, but you can see it's, it's a pretty significant flow. And I did a test the other day when I first got this all hooked up and running. It's about 12 gallons a minute here at the top of the hill. And at the bottom of the hill with no piping or anything just straight out of the wellhead is 16 gallons a minute at, at no pressure so we really do get quite a bit of uh, flow up here at the top of the hill despite the fact that we're going up quite a serious distance here's dexter left a few things behind we might need that lid right there that's that lid that keeps all the insects out of the and the frogs out of the water tank because otherwise we end up with frogs in the water tank and little buggies. Of course, they all get chewed up through the, the pool pump and the water filter system. We gotta go catch up with Dexter. We have some vehicles that'll get us there a little bit quicker. There we go. Whee, doggy. We gotta meet him up at the top of the hill. That'll be easy. We'll just get on around him. there he's probably a little pissed off right now making his way through that cloud of dust hey Dexter he can't hear us on the tractor we can talk all we want about it he's like what's all this shit all these cars and trucks and side by sides everything's in his way hey there's a pipe over there you can't go any farther so you can see here I have the valve open so the water is just coming out of the well. And this is what I mean when I say the flush water. You can tell it's kind of not quite clear and uh, we don't really want to use this water where we're using it for dishes and showering and stuff like that. And even though it does go through filters, uh, we just prefer to not, not use that water. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this back down carefully and send the water back up the hill. Now one thing to be concerned about when you have an application with this much water up a hill like this is water hammer. That can be extremely dangerous. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna open this spigot and you'll watch 130 PSI on this gauge. Now we go down to about 30 PSI. Now as I close this, the pressure is going to build back up 
and go all the way up to 160 PSI briefly as it's still trying to get this, get the momentum back into the water going up the hill. And that's a big deal because if you don't have pipe rated, now this pipe is rated for 450 PSI, but if you have pipe that's not rated and you have all that water go slamming up and down the hill, you have the ability to blow out a pipe and it also creates movement. Practical Engineering made a really cool video on this. I'll put a card up top if I remember. But yeah, guys, that's, that's my weekend project this weekend was laying right around 1,300 feet of pipe. If you learned something today, leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon because I make a lot of awesome videos and I'm sure you'll learn something new. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.